Hey guys, welcome back to Revived Witch. In today's video, I wanted to take another look at gear and talk about why I think gear is actually really worth farming every week to a certain point with certain conditions. So I'll go through all of it. Plus, I found out a bunch more about gear um, that makes me understand it, like the additional stat, exactly what sets there will be and all that sort of stuff. So let's get into it. Okay, so first off, the reason you want to farm a certain amount of gear at least every week is when we go over here to trials and we go to the dull equipment, uh, we can see that we do have these bad boys, um, which is the advanced runestone. Now, you want to be able to buy this every week without missing it like you do you don't want to miss it or is it every month uh 14 uh this is five days so I, I i believe this stuff is monthly it's hard to tell um and then i believe this stuff is weekly but you definitely want to always have 800 of these bad boys and you get these red uh these crystals by just basically farming for gear so you'll get them through that it's not really any stress as you can say those are the three farming stages you can get them um and you want to stack up to 800 and you always want to be able to buy this bad boy here now the reason you want to be able to buy this one and i don't know how many runs it takes it's probably about Oh, I want to say about 40 to 50 runs to get this many. It might even be more. I can't remember how many you get from a run. It might even be closer to 100 runs. So you have to use some stam refills uh, every week if you want to get this. But the reason I think it's very valuable and why you want to be going for it uh, is if we go over here to my dolls and for instance here and we jump over to a piece of gear and we go to forge enhancement i was trying to figure out how you get this this extra stat well it happens to be this bad boy as you can see generates uh generate two s to triple s affixes uh has a chance to unlock a new affix slot so it only a chance it's not even guaranteed by the sound of it so you have a chance when using these to get an extra substat slot which is going to be huge plus it gives you s to triple s keep in mind when you do use these you want to have your luck maxed out before you go ahead and do it you build up your luck with these at least i think that's the way it's going to work uh, and then you can go and use that to get the high luck so you get a really good roll but these are how you're going to unlock that extra stat which is actually going to be huge for you know progressing forward getting those extra stats and like i said you can get one i think every week the shop will refresh for those um so definitely worth doing your gear farming even early on because i did mention before that early on i didn't think it was like it was necessary to farm gear because i thought you know you could always just instead farm you know your mana your skill ups you know ascending more characters for other content but now with this now that i understand that is how you unlock the extra substat uh i think in the long run you're going to want to be able to farm that much gear at least so um if we go over here i want to just have a look at the gear as well because i figured out more on the gear side um and first off i want to give a big shout out i'll put it on screen i can't remember the name off the top of my head um but to the person that actually told me that those were what give you the extra substat they told me in the in the last youtube video in the comments um and then also another person i'll actually i think i've got their name right here in discord uh to who was it god slayer who dm'd me on discord uh to let me know about this way to check a bunch of the gear so if we go over back here to the shop um and we go to trials uh and we check this bad boy you can actually see all the equipment from clicking this and this is how we're able to fill out all the equipment that we can get so the way equipment is going to work is that all the weapons are going to have the same set bonuses they're all one pieces at the moment some of the gold ones have two set bonus and three set bonuses but all of the legendary pieces have one set bonuses and they're all exactly the same so if you buy these chests you have a chance to get this one here which increases damage and healing effect of the skill by three percent for every point of auto auto energy generated generated gained so this I, i've really got to figure out how exactly these work because if this is infinitely stacking and every time you gain order you gain the stats like this just seems completely broken uh from my mind because it's infinitely scaling i don't know i'll have to work out if there's a soft cap at the moment but basically what you're going to find is for every class for instance guardian you're going to have two different weapons so this one so for guardians you have a shield and a mace um and the shield is going to have higher health and less attack and the mace is going to have less uh health and higher attack but you can all you can always get a, a shield 
or a mace with that same set, but then you've also got a bad shield and a bad mace, which when you look at them comparatively, they have less stats, um, but also they have no set bonus. So these are going to be the ones that you're probably going to fodder in the end. Um, but then when we look at... Uh, what you call them? Destroyers. They have the same. They have one with higher health than attack, and one with higher attack than health. Um, and then both of them can come with that uh, that set bonus, and then they can also get one that has no set bonus, which is going to be your fodder piece. Now, the way I understand it, these pieces, this set bonus, I think at the moment is exclusive to these chests. Um, and then we have different set bonuses that we get from uh, doing the farming. So if we look here at armor, once again, this one seems ridiculous. Increases physical defense and magical defense by 3% for every point of chaos energy gained. I don't know if it's infinitely stacking or whatever, but then we have two different types. This one has the magical defense and this one has the physical defense. Once again, you can get them both with that set. And then when we look at the rings, this one has uh, 159 attack this one has uh so what's this one so this is like the the attacker one this has got attack and magic defense this one's got the health and magic defense so that's like the tank one and then they come with this heal self for 10 percent of max health once every 10 seconds but then they've also got one that comes with nothing you get the gist um so that's that's half the gear you can get in the game and the other half comes from farming um, like I said, I'll do, I'll do like a complete guide. I just wanted to get this one out to let you know, guys know that you probably should be farming this stuff to get enough points every day, uh, every week to be able to exchange. Um, but if we go actually over here and we go to the archive, I will actually pop one of those chests at the end as well. We'll do that. Um, for instance, here you can see, I think the best one for me to look at is going to be over here in sort of destroyer. So you can see this one, I've got this weapon. Um, this is the, I think this is the, the health based weapon. It's got 832 health, 135 attack. This one's got, was that correct? Yeah. So, okay. So this is, yeah, that's the health based weapon. This is the attack one. This has got higher attack than health. Um, but this one is the spud one that doesn't have a substat. So th there's going to be like another sword in here with this set bonus, uh, increases dolls attack by 0.2% for every 1% uh, max health lost. So this could, if this infinitely scales, this can be really good as well. I feel like this set bonus could be really strong for, for like Ella, if you're using her, especially as a tank, cause you're going to keep losing health, keep getting attack, keep going ham and away you go. I don't know whether this is cumulative. Like if you heal up, whether you lose it, I'd assume you don't, but I'll have to wait and see, get, get deeper into that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, like this is the set bonus you get. There will also be another one of these swords that has higher health than attack, which doesn't have it. And then like this, there's probably going to be one of this that does have that set bonus. So it's sort of like that. There's, there's, there's not many set bonuses. All the set bonuses are generic across all weapons, all chests, uh, well, all chests and stuff, chests are generic anyway, but all weapons have the same set bonuses. Hopefully they put in some more unique bonuses along the way, um, but that is the basic gist to how it all works. And um, and then obviously we're going to have different set bonuses for our uh, rings and our chest pieces here. If I can find one here. There we go. There's one. Got the set bonus. But um, but yeah, that's basically the way it works. For me personally, I actually like the passives that I'm seeing uh, in the ones from the shop a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to buy them because I'm just going to farm gear anyway for a while because I just enjoy the RNG of farming gear. Um, but let's go ahead and pop one of these chests anyway and see what we can get. Hopefully we get something with the bonus. What 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 do I ideally want? Ideally, I want the... I think I want the bow or do I want the fist weapon? Because that has health. It's got 238 attack. So I, I want the bow. I want this bow. Increases damage and healing effects. Uh, for the skill for every three seconds. I want that one or I want the, uh, the where, oh, this. That's what I want. I want one of those two. That or that. That's what we're going for. Cross your fingers. Don't give me a mage or a, um, compeller weapon, please. what I get? Does it, d d okay, okay. Does it have the, it doesn't have the set bonus. <laughs> my god. Oh, well, I got fodder. There we go. We've got fodder. We can upgrade some gear. That royally sucked. I'm very sad. These things happen. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.